I was really interested in getting some voices from the ground, voices of, of protesters who are, who are organizing and taking a look at, at their motivations, the kind of world they like to live in, and what it's been like uh, organizing at the RNC. There's a serious police presence, and the city seemed to be geared up for uh, conflict. You know, So I've been working on someone who's organizing people to stay nonviolent um, and other people sort of looking at, at their views on it and their motivations. There's a conversation that happens down there that I'm not sure that everybody else really gets to hear. Uh, before the RNC, I was there for, for a week early in August, and it was the talk of the town. People were saying, this is going to bring so much money. We need jobs so badly. The Tampa Bay area is one of the parts of the country that was hardest hit by the um, foreclosure crisis and that um, bursting the housing bubble. And it's still in the top five regions for foreclosures even today. And people were just like, oh, this is going to bring so much money. The hosting committee for the RNC said this will bring $170 million to Tampa Bay. And the mayor, um, who is a Democrat, saw bags of money, you know, um, for, for people in Tampa, you know, I'm sure he was, had them in mind, and uh, worked with the RNC and got it. Uh, now that it's actually underway, I think people are probably looking at that number a little more critically because there is, um, in the blog that Time Magazine does about the RNC called Swampland, um, their blogger just posted that a bunch of interviews with local restaurant owners who said that they felt like kids waiting for Santa Claus and Santa Claus was never coming. You know, these parties were held at the most exclusive places. They're very glamorous parties that are, um, you know, funded by corporations like AT&T. And I don't know, the, the idea that this money was going to go to small businesses in Tampa is um, turning out to, to be not quite, not quite there. Uh, furthermore, $50 million dollars of that $170 million figure is just for security. And so we're seeing figures like $6,000 for police radios, thousands of dollars for special bands, you know, just for, just for locking up protesters. And I think if you asked a bunch of people in Florida, in Tampa, we have $50 million of federal grant money for, to spend in this area. How would you want it spent? I, I don't think they would have chosen those ways. And so this whole picture that I'm describing, to me, it uh, presents a window into the kind of world that these Republicans would have us live in, where um, taxes, you look at the Romney tax plan, let's slash corporate taxes from 35 to 25 percent, let's eliminate taxes on investments, let's make those Bush tax cuts for the wealthiest Americans permanent, you know, and so you get to an economy that's all about hoping that rich people will come to town and go to restaurants and hotels and you just kind of cross your fingers and, um, and hope the money comes to you. Mm -hmm.